In this video, I am going to discuss two bird orders, which are the Gruviformes and Phaeton deformis. Goods, grains, rails, and moorhens are some species which make up the order Gruviformes. They have anisodactyl feet with three toes facing forward and one facing backward. Their plumage is predominantly brown, white, or gray, and many species have strict markings. They have rounded wings that are usually long, and the length of their tail varies. Gruviforms as a group are omnivorous. They commonly have long bills that are useful for foraging in marshes and estuaries. Furthermore, members of this order are characterized by long legs and extended neck, although considerable variation exists among families. In the Philippines, two families fall under this order, namely Rallidae, which has 18 species, and Gruidae, with 3 species. For this order, we will focus on Galeralus calayanensis, commonly known as Calayan rail, which belongs to the family Rallidae. This species is endemic to Calayan Island, thus its common name. It is referred to as Piding by the locals. Piding is one of the 20 known extant flightless rails. It is small and dark brown with a distinctive orange to red bill and legs. It utters loud and harsh calls. It was first observed by ornithologist Española in May 2004 and the discovery was officially announced in August of the same year. This species is currently listed as vulnerable in the IUCN Red List as it has a very small population in a small known range. At present, it is not known to be declining. But if any evidence of a decline emerges, then it will warrant uplisting to critically endangered. Meanwhile, on the Philippine Red List, it is listed as endangered. Threats to this species include hunting, habitat loss, as well as introduced predators. The Calayan Rail Project is conducted by Isla Biodiversity Conservation Incorporated, which has a general goal of ensuring a future for the Piding and other wildlife and natural habitats of the island. Another order of birds is Phaetontiformis. Tropic birds, or the family of Phaetontidae, are the sole living representatives of this order. There are only three species of tropic birds around the world, and two of which can be found in the Philippines. The feet of these birds are totti palmet, that is, all four toes are connected by a web. Their plumage is predominantly white with elongated pairs of central tail feathers. Their bills are large, powerful, and slightly decurved. They have a large head and a short and thick neck. The legs of a tropic bird are located far back on their body, making walking impossible so that they can only move on land by pushing themselves forward with their feet. They feed primarily on fish, squid, and crustaceans. For this order, we will be focusing on Phaeton rubricauda. It is commonly known as red-tailed tropic bird, and it belongs to the family Phaeton today. It occupies much of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. It has generally white plumage, often with a pink tinge, a black crescent around the eye, and a thin red tail feather. The color of its bill is bright red, while its feet is black. This species is the rarest of the tropic birds, yet it is still a widespread bird that is not considered threatened. Wow. It is listed as least concern in the IUCN Red List and other wildlife species in the Philippine Red List. Although not threatened, some populations are impacted by predation of introduced mammals and birds, and it is also harvested for food by some human communities. An interesting fact about this species is that it is considered as the national bird of Bermuda and its picture appears on postage stamps and on the 25 centavo coin. Here are the references I used for this presentation.
Thank you so much for listening and keep safe always.